Coral reefs have been said to be the rainforests of the sea as they host the largest biodiversity in the ocean. About half a billion people live within 100 kilometers of coral reefs and benefit monetarily through fisheries and tourism. Coral reefs, which cover less than 1% of the ocean, are estimated to create $375 billion a year in economic value. Sadly, we have already lost about half of the world's known coral, and we may lose 90% or more of the remaining corals by the end of this century. Corals are amazing creatures that have been pushed to the breaking point. Fishing nets wreak havoc on the system as well as ship strikes, but worst of all is ocean warming and exchanging gases with the atmosphere at an alarming rate, which leads to mass coral bleaching events. Now these bleached corals may look pretty, but it is like someone who is pale and sick instead of uh, being alive with color. Scientists are using a multitude of ways to help boost the health of coral reefs, such as stimulating reproduction. Coral reproduces asexually and sexually. To help coral survive through the century, here are some things scientists have been doing to help with the, make coral grow faster. When corals reproduce asexually, they grow bigger and like some sea stars, can grow from just a little piece. Once a piece is broken off, there are signals to heal within the coral, and those signals make the coral grow faster. Here we see a scientist breaking off a piece of coral and attaching it to a substrate so that a new coral can grow and eventually go back to the ocean. Corals also reproduce sexually by broadcast spawning. They wait until after sunset, and like little bubbles, the eggs and sperm come together and swirl around in the ocean to create larvae. In the wild, cor corals synchronize their spawning release. In a healthy reef, this, an, this can occur uh, just with closer proximity. In the wild with mass coral bleaching events, Coral sexual reproduction can be in danger because the corals are not in sync and the living corals are not close enough together. Many will re release on different nights and have no chance of fertilization, reducing genetic diversity among coral, especially if the corals have to survive only via asexual reproduction. Scientists have had coral colonies spawn at a specific time in the lab. With these techniques, scientists uh, believe better chances of larvae and growth to recreate reefs. We can mitigate warming by lowering our individual carbon footprints and investing in carbon capture technology. There is hope for coral reefs. We must work together globally to ensure one of the greatest natural resources we have in this world continues into the future.